Hello everybody, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today I'm going to be ranking every LEGO Marvel Studios Disney Plus minifigure from the brand new CMF series that's going to be releasing in September of 2021. I am very excited to go through each and every one of these figures, which there are 12 of, and I did do a reveal video for this series, but now I want to dive in depth here and of course rank them from my least favorite to my favorite, and keep in mind of course this is all just based on my personal opinion, so be be sure to let me know your rankings down below as well because I'm always curious to compare and contrast yours against my own. So without further ado, let's get straight into it here and start off with the first figure. Alright, so to kick it off here, we have a figure from WandaVision, and this one is Monica Rambeau, and I think, honestly, she is one of the more bland figures, I would say, in the series. Now, I don't think she is a bad addition by any means, because, of course, Monica did play a pretty integral role within the actual WandaVision show, so I am glad to see her as a minifigure here, and I think this is a good opportunity to make her, because, of course, we don't know in the future if they do plan on making WandaVision sets, and then that would make a lot more sense to probably have Agnes in one of those sets. Of course, that's one of the characters that I think a lot of people want, of course, is Agatha Harkness, but I think it's still quite cool that we get Monica in this series here. I think that definitely the major positives with her are her hair and then also her torso print as well. I do like that quite a bit with the sword logo, so overall, I would say it's quite well done. Then the next figure that we have here is from Loki, and it is the title character himself, of course, the god of mischief right here, Loki, and I think he looks pretty darn good, honestly. I do like his TVA uniform. It just ranks a bit lower for me personally, just because it's more of a bland-looking outfit. It's definitely the characters that are in more standard attire or don't really have too much printing that are the ones that kind of fall a bit short for me personally, but I still do like basically every single figure in this series. I really do think they hit it out of the ballpark with each and every one of these, and I do quite like Loki's actual torso printing. I love the accessories as well, probably some of the strongest ones from the series with, of course, the TVA mug right there, which looks really great, and then Throg as well there, of course, with the printing there on the torso, and then also holding the hammer as well, so some great details there. Would have liked to have seen maybe Thor's helmet on the actual figure there, but still, I think that it's pretty well done and honestly, I can't really complain too much with this figure. Then we have Gamora with the Blade of Thanos, of course, from the What If series, and this figure is definitely a cool one. I do like getting to see Gamora in, like, Thanos armor. I think that is pretty darn cool, and honestly, it does make quite a bit of sense. Of course, I don't know the context of why this is going to be happening in the What If series, but I still think it's quite cool, and I think they did a good job with all of the details there on the torso, the legs, and arm printing as well, which is so great to see. So I love that. The Blade as well, of Thanos I think is pretty good, so I would say overall this figure is quite well done. Now we have Sylvie from the Loki series, and this is a great character from that show. I really did like her quite a bit, and I do like the figure as well, although there are a few downsides to this one, including the fact that she has no leg printing, which is a slight bit disappointing, and then her face print as well. I don't really feel like it matches her personality from the series as much, considering she's a bit more of a serious character, I would say. So the smile, I don't not like it, but I also feel like it isn't as accurate as it should be, and then I really love her hair piece there, I think that's such a great combo molded piece right there, so I do like that quite a bit, and then the actual torso and the arm printing looks good as well, and then she also comes with alligator Loki as well, which is a bit disappointing, not really including the crown on it, but still, I think it's a nice looking piece and still suits like what it's meant to be, so I think it does work quite well, and it's overall a really good figure.
Then we've got Bucky Barnes here from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, and this is definitely one of my favorite characters from the MCU, and I think there's a lot of great things that we're going to see from this character in the future, and I really do love his design here. I think it's definitely one of my favorites for the character. I think that the torso printing looks great, and I love the arm printing as well on his metal arm, so I think that's really great to see as well, and then we can also see a little bit of leg printing as well, which is really nice. You have a bit of a continuation there from the torso and then I really like the expression on the face here I think it definitely suits Bucky quite well and the hair piece also works really well as well so I do like this one quite a bit Now we have White Vision from the WandaVision series, definitely a really interesting character, one that I'm really intrigued to find out more about, and that's why he kind of falls a little bit short in the ranking, it's just more so because I don't really know a ton about the character, of course, I know it's like a version of Vision, and I know we saw him at the end of WandaVision, of course, in more so the finale, but I think he's definitely a character that I'll be interested to learn more about, so I am glad that we have him in physical minifigure form here. Now there's a few inaccuracies from his actual appearance in the show, but that's understandable considering, of course, Lego has to kind of go off of concept designs for the characters, so I still think it came out looking pretty great. I do like all of the details. Definitely, they went all out with the printing on each and every one of these Marvel figures, and I think it really did pay off. Now we've got Zombie Hunter Spidey right here, and this is definitely a super cool figure, and now it kind of gives us some context as to what Spider-Man's going to be up to in the What If series, and of course, hunting some zombies, so I think that is going to be super cool. It's definitely one of my most highly anticipated shorts, or like, episodes, I suppose, for the What If series. I'm definitely looking forward to that, and the printing on this Spider-Man figure has got to be some of the best that I've ever seen for, like, more of a standard-looking Spider-Man suit. I think it works so well and you could definitely take like the arms off and put them on another Spider-Man figure if you wanted to upgrade one of your other ones. So I do like this one quite a bit. I could definitely see people buying multiples of it. I mean, I'm sure for several of these figures, people will go after quite a few of them, but I think this one's definitely an outstanding one with such a great design. I like the cape as well, even though it would have been cool to maybe see the new molded cape uh, being used for Spider-Man from like the No Way Home set, but I think it's still a really cool one and definitely has a great looking design. Alright, now we have T'Challa as Star-Lord here, which is definitely a really interesting concept for What If, and I think the figure looks fantastic. I really do think they did a great job with this one, and I love the Star-Lord helmet here, of course. I really like the details of the purple eyes there, and then also the hair on top, and I absolutely love that they went ahead and gave us the extra head and hair piece as well, so that you can take off the helmet. I think that's really great that they went ahead and did that. I think it works really well for the actual figure. So I'm super glad about that, and I think that overall it's just got a really nice looking design. I do like the torso and the legs as well. I think those are both really well printed, so I would say overall it's definitely one of my favorites. Next up here, we've got Scarlet Witch from WandaVision, of course, and I think that she honestly looks super great. I do like this figure quite a bit, and I'm not too bothered by the way that they did the tiara on the head here. I was a bit nervous about it, but I think that they were able to do it quite well, and I think it looks pretty good, especially from the front here in the specific images that were given. I think it looks really good, and I do love that she has the red power blast pieces as well. I think those are really great, and then the torso and the legs have got to be some of the best printing that I've seen and look super accurate as well. And then I really love the arms also. I think those look really good. So it's just a really well done figure. I like the face print as well. I know it's reusing it from the Avengers Endgame set, but I think that it's still quite good. And I think overall, it's a really good looking figure.
Now we've got Captain Carter from the What If series, and I am super excited for this figure here. I know we already had the other version of her from one of the What If sets, but I'm super glad that we're getting this version here because it kind of looks like her like final uniform, and I think this one is much more superior to the previous one. I believe the other one's meant to be more of a stealth version, and then this one is more of her full-on version, which I think looks really great. I love the shield printing there. I think that's fantastic. You have leg printing. Printing. You've got arm printing. You even have printing on the side of the legs as well, which is so great. So I really do love all of the details here. And of course, the hair piece is a huge standout. I'm so glad that we're getting a new one there that looks so good and very accurate to the character as well. So they just really knocked it out of the park with this figure. I don't have really any complaints for this one. So I'm super excited to be getting this character. Okay, now we have Sam Wilson as Captain America, and this is such an amazing looking figure. This has got to be one of the best figures that I've really seen from any CMF series just that LEGO has made in general. I think they just absolutely nailed it with the design here. I really do love the actual like torso, leg, arm, side of the leg. All of the printing is just absolutely amazing. I'll be very interested as well with on the wings if those are going to be printed pieces or if you're going to have stickers in the actual CMF series, because that honestly might be a first if they do wind up doing stickers. So I'm very interested to find out with that. I'm really hoping and having my fingers crossed that those are just going to be printed pieces, but I'm not too sure. I love that we get like a little like Red Wing as well, the little drone that he has there. So that's really great. And I just really do love the figure. I think the face print's fantastic. The new hair piece as well, I think looks really good on the actual character. So I am like, that quite a bit and the shield piece as well is super great even though we get it with Bucky as well I think it's good that we get so many of the shields because they do have some great printing and overall I just really love this figure All right, now at the number one spot here, we have a figure that I think has got to be honestly one of the best Lego Marvel minifigures that we've ever received, and that is Zombie Captain America from the What If series, and I am so excited for this figure. I think this is one that's going to be a bit more underrated within the actual minifigure series, because I know What If's the one series that at least at the time of filming this, we haven't seen yet, but I am so excited for this. I think it's such a phenomenal looking figure. The amount of detail on this guy is just fantastic. I absolutely love that on the legs we have side leg printing. We have such cool printing as well with the actual costume being torn apart as well throughout the whole figure. And then you have arm printing as well. The torso looks so fantastic. The actual helmet even has different printing as well, which I love where part of the A is kind of scratched out and you have some other scratch marks as well, which is so cool. And then I love the face as well well from what I can see it just looks phenomenal I love the yellow eyes as well it definitely makes them look even more menacing and then the shield piece as well I love that now we have a really damaged looking shield I think that is so cool and it's going to work for quite a few people if they want to do some customs for Captain America so there are just so many cool factors to this figure I love the tone that they picked as well for like the skin tone of the zombie I think it looks so great and it definitely gives off that vibe of it being undead and I think that is so cool so it's just so fantastic they absolutely nailed it with the design here and from what I've seen from the trailers I think it does look quite accurate to what we're seeing in the actual series so I'm really glad about that and I think overall this figure just has to be my all-time favorite all right so that's going to conclude the ranking here for every Lego Marvel Studios Disney Plus minifigure from this brand new CMF series there were a lot of really amazing ones ones in this series. Honestly, really none that were that disappointing to me. There's a few aspects to a couple of figures that I think could have been done a little bit better, but in all honesty, I am extremely satisfied with this series. I am so excited to eventually get my hands on it. This is definitely going to be one that I'm sure a ton of people are going to want to 100% collect because there's so many fantastic aspects to every single figure. Even if there's a character that you might not be as interested in, there are 
definitely pieces with the figures that you will want to have so that you can use them for customs or just other characters as well so definitely just some great aspects for everyone in the lego community with this series which is so great to see so i am very excited for it. but now i want to hear your rankings down below in the comment section be sure to let me know which ones are your least favorites which ones are your favorites and let me know what you think of my ranking here in the video of course keep in mind just based on my personal opinion so please let me know all of your thoughts down below and thanks so much for watching the video if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like also subscribe as well if you would like to check out some of my other content that would be highly appreciated so thank you so much i will see you all next time and always remember keep on collecting